Do you like tacos? I think everybody likes tacos. So I decided to get everything we needed for tacos tonight. Um, including this new dip. I'm excited about this. Queso melt. We have some chips, some salsa set up. And what I have over here in the oven um, is bean dip. So I have bean dip heating up. I'm going to put that white cheese on top as well as we're going to use um, salsa as another form of dip. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get started preparing. I'm going to get my meat going. I already have my eye on. And the key to making good flavored meat is you have to season it while you're cooking. Not afterwards really, but while you're cooking. So put some pepper in there. I'm also using this kit. This Taco Bell kit. And it's going to come with a few things we need. Let's bust that open. And I need to mention the spicy jalapeno cheddar um, taco shells. So that's going to be good. You can get those open too. So there will be a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully you can follow along with what's going on. So we'll get those over by the tester oven. Don't need that box. In here should be some taco seasoning. Let's see what comes in this box. This is a taco cheesy double decker box. That's what I needed right there. The taco seasoning. So I can tell the meat. Put a whole pouch of taco seasoning in there. That's going to give our meat a good flavor. Salsa taste. Mmm, look at that. You always get to eat this while you're waiting for the food. Mmm. The chips, great salsa. Chi cheese, thick and chunky, great salsa. Ooh, got a little kick. This is a uh, medium, it shouldn't be spicy. I just doubled it, but I wouldn't do that if you were here with me. I had them on a separate bowl. The beans should be done over there in the oven. I'll be checking that night. With the meat, it's simple. You just put that. I put a little salt and pepper. Well, actually, I didn't put any salt because I know this taco seasoning has a lot of um, salt and seasoning in there. So we'll let that cook. And then let's get some things. Prepared and have lettuce here. Get rid of it. Put the 
about these when you get rid of too. Okay, so we have a nice amount of lettuce already uh, torn up. I'll check for any bad pieces. So we're good on lettuce. That is plenty of lettuce. Chips out of the way. Now I've never worked with these avocados. I noticed there was some that were hard and some that were soft. I'll try to get the ones that were soft. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. It's nice and firm. I'm going to check your fruit and vegetables and make sure you're getting good stuff when you get it. It's not hard, it just takes a little bit of effort, uh, it takes a lot of preparation, I guess, for most people. It's a lot, I don't mind it, the end result is so good. And man, is it expensive when you go to Taco Bell and different places like that. Hell, it's expensive when you make it yourself too. Look at how many different types of ingredients are needed. Well, it's good though. You gotta live while you're alive, right? So now we have tomatoes ready, we have lettuce ready. What's next? Okay, let's do something with this onion. Oh yeah, definitely need to check on the meat. Let's cut it down. With, uh, I like to hold it like this, get that first layer off, a couple layers. It's usually just a feel thing, but they can definitely make you cry. Chef Ramsey says something about <clears throat> if you don't cut the center of the onion, the root, then it doesn't burn, make your eyes burn. It's not making my eyes burn so far. Alright, that bean dip is done. I'm done playing with this onion. Let's go ahead and get this. It's slippery too. It's definitely turning slippery when you get into the middle. It's going to be real slippery. Let's see. Hope you are having a good day. It's been a good day so far. I just decided to make tacos for some reason. I don't know what it is about today. I want some tacos. I don't think me and Caleb ever made tacos like this. Okay, here we are. I'm back. Now take. Start right to the side of that root and I just go straight down to make it like a, a little hump. Put that flat side down. I could tell you see how green that is. I'm gonna go ahead and take one more layer off. One more of that layer of that onion. Perfect. See, I want to keep it all together. Now that I've sliced it that way, long ways, I'm going to go back and slice it again. It should be diced up. There's several ways to do this. You might know a better way than I do. This is what we're doing today. 
I don't get every one of them this way. I would like to know a better way. <laughs> Perfect. So now we have onions. We have tomatoes. These containers are going to be uh, very handy too. Matter of fact, I'm going to put the onions in one of these containers. Containers are very handy for stuff like this. All right, so now uh, I got these limes also. Um, hopefully, it's going to be really good, good addition. Okay, don't forget to get that sticker off now. Okay, let's okay, let's for here. There we go. So I'm going to cut this lime. smell the lime is going to really make it um, seem more authentic and then the flavor. No, there's no tequila here. Nobody get excited here. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. Because I'm uh, taking squeeze one on the meat over here. Tougher, not quite ripe, I don't think, but it's gonna work just fine. Alright, so we add that to the flavor of the meat. That's really gonna come out. So we have the beans. Some over here that's gonna be coming out of the oven. Alright, so I just took the beans that were in that can you saw in the photo and I threw them in the toaster oven. They are super hot. And I'm going to take this white cheese, queso milk. Super cheesy. I've never tried this cheese before. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. I've had it served this way before in a restaurant where... That's the main goal is to try to get it in the center because it's obviously going to melt and run all over. And look at that goodness. Cheesy goodness. So I think that'll be enough for this. We'll still have some for dip. Back over there. Mm. The flavor is really good with that dip. What I think I'm going to do. Things cooking at the same time. I got, I got the bag, I got that came with this 
kit. Let's see what's in here. I like crunchy tacos. I don't know if you prefer crunchy. Oh yeah, look at there. It's gonna be spicy. So we'll do a combination. Throw those in the toaster oven. We'll go ahead and start cooking. So these are gonna stand up on their own. That's one of the reasons why I purchased it. What do you think, Kayla? You want you want the hard ones like that? All right, perfect. We'll do five. So I just stood them up like that and I have them in the toaster oven. Let's cut that back on. And now, so what else? What do we need to do next? You heard that. We need to get rid of this trash and I'll move this onion out of there. Oh yeah, we forgot about the jalapenos. I need to cut up some jalapenos. You're afraid to get it spicy. They're not that bad as long as you take the seeds out. Oh, avocados too. Let's check out the avocados first. I'm really interested in those. Put that on sticker off. I know there's a pit in the middle. There we go. Yeah, that smells good. Got lime. I'm going to squeeze some lime in there. You just take your spoon and go around the outer edge. Put it into a bowl. Boom. Avocado. Do you, have you ever looked at the studies on avocado? Very, very good for your body. I'm not pretending to know everything. I know it's there's a massive amount of potassium in avocado. One of the highest sources. It's hard to get enough in your daily diet. All right, so that's one avocado. I was debating whether I should get one or two. And um, we're going to go ahead and do two. It's very bitter. Hmm. I think we can throw a few tomatoes in there also. I saw a recipe online that was doing that. So let's get rid of that ball that's in there. Avocado is very expensive too. Okay, so that's plenty of avocado. Let's get that out of the way. Cheese, Kayla, and what else do we need? Something that's in the refrigerator. Yep, I know. I need an assistant. That's what I need. Little garlic seems to be universal. Oh, shit. Let's try that. Oh, excuse my number. A little bit of salt. Salt's universal. I saw, um, there's some tomatoes. I saw somebody use tomatoes. Online, so put some tomatoes in there too. You learn as you go. I've never done this, so we'll see how it turns out. We will see if I ever want to use this again. I'm gonna cut the shells off. I don't want them to get overdone. While we're waiting, let's check out this dip. We can have a little fun while we're working, right, Kayla? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Here, get your chip. Let's try it out. So, what you want to get is a little bit of dip, a little bit of bean dip. 
A little bit of that cheese. Let's see if it'll stay on the chip. Oh. Are we at El Tapatio right now? Oh my gosh. That is, dude, that is just like El Tap. Not trying to name drop, but I don't see what the difference is, honestly. Mm, man. Oh yeah, I didn't let you try yet, Kayla. Here, go ahead. Hey. <laughs> Here, let me get the camera. Let's see what you think. Is that good? Mmm, that is good. Yeah, that's what I think too. And then we have sauce over here. Alright. Back to work. Jalapenos. seeds it's going to bring your food to life make it more authentic okay I've got the middle out and I'm going to rinse these real quick Gonna be a longer video, it takes a while for this stuff. Seeds, nice seeds. Are you gonna try jalapeno, Kayla? Mm. No. no, yeah, I'm gonna right, get Perfect. So, there's our avocado dip. Let's um, crumble a couple of pieces of jalapeno up in that. That'd be spicy. Okay. Just don't touch your eyes or your face or anything. Alright, so I think everything's ready. Uh, we need to get soft shells. Jalapenos, tomato, we have lime, we have our lettuce ready to go and prepared. Um, we'll save those. We already have some that are in the what well, came with this cheese sauce. I don't know, it might be overkill at this point. Let's save that since we have this white cheese. Good. That is good. I'm telling you, man. Let's go back. Let's take another little chip break. Let's see here. Let's go for a close up. I'm telling you, it's just like L Town. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the lime. I smell the lime on my fingers after just cutting it. Oh my gosh, it's like the combination of the cheese and the beans. Isn't that amazing? I know you don't. Alright, let's try. I'm dying to see what this avocado is like. No double dipping, Kayla. Alright, so let's see here. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I, I'm going to start charging people. If you want to come over, I'll cook for you. We'll uh, make tacos just like this. We can only have about six or eight people over here. We'll have, um, man, I'm serious. I guarantee you, if you try, come over here and try this, you'll be like, man, let's go to Adams tonight. Oh, good. All right, so enough about that. I'm trying to brag. It just came out of the can. You know, I just put it together. All right, so perfect. Let's um, enough on the dip. We have that ready. What else are we missing? I have the meat over here ready. Okay. I'm gonna check on these taco shells. 
They're good to go. We don't need any more of this cheese dip since we didn't paint them. That's, you know, that was a lot of work, but it was kind of fun at the same time. I really enjoy it. So, it came with these little shells. Let's see what kind of shells they provide us. This is the Taco Bell shells. I don't want them to go flying everywhere. I don't want to see wheat, but... There we go. Alright, so... Let's see. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if you can... What, what can I compare it to? The pack of crackers. Look at them. So, they're not very big. They're not very big at all. Good thing I have these. Two cheese, we got a little bit larger diameter. Almost two crackers. Okay, perfect. So, let's make some tacos. What do you think? season it really made it look very appealing too very very appetizing all right so we have the beef going on here and these are freestanding tacos oh you munching over there <sighs> all right well i like to go with a little lettuce next stop eating and look record all right we'll move the plate over here since she's a little muncher right now so you able to see that Perfect. There we go. Now you can see. We'll stuff some lettuce in there. Oh man, I almost forgot, Kaylee. You almost let me forget. It's all your fault. Dad. Sour cream. You can't do this without fresh daisy sour cream. Let's get that thing open. There we go. Okay, so we have uh, let's see, lettuce, tomato, don't want to break them, they seem fragile. some jalapenos in there what do y'all think about that jalapeno tacos it's already a hot shell and i'm gonna <laughs> put some jalapenos on there on top of that okay that's looking good so far let's go ahead and get a close-up um what else do we need um why not some oh man it says jalapenos i'll try to get it where it doesn't have jalapenos some guacamole holy guacamole <laughs> oh no, that's sticking to it. Here, camera girl, take this. Come on, take it. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Alright, so it might be a little bit more challenging to eat, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun to eat. I'm really impressed about the guacamole and how that turned out. I really am. You have to try that next time. Don't bypass it. Go in there and get you one. And they weren't that, I think they were 84 cent a piece or something like that. So we have, what else do we need? I'm bragging about sour cream. We've got to have some sour cream. It's going to fall over.
perfect to do that, sorry. Having some te technical difficulties. Yeah, it's gonna be a tad bit challenging to eat. Take that. Alright, so what else do we need? What else are we missing at this point? Lime. on top. I know plating is very important. This is a messy one. I'll tell you what I do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Plating is very important. Let's get a new plate. I'm going to do the taco transfer right now, okay? The taco transfer. Boom. One taco successfully transferred. Over. Alright, tacos. In transfer and process. Look at that. Boom. It didn't fall, Kayla. That's good. Yay. So. Oh, you know what we forgot? Rice. I was going to do rice and beans. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. That's cool enough. Seems weird going to someone's house, but hey, I cook for you, man. You'd be wanting to come back. You tell all your friends to be booked up for months. Here we go. What do you think, Kayla? I like it. <laughs> Me too. And we didn't even get any burritos or anything. You know, I feel like we could wrap up a burrito and put it in the middle. Let's do it justice. Come on. All right, hold it. Let me do a burrito here. A little. Soft taco. Yeah, perfect. That's what I'll do. I'll do a soft taco. I'm going to do that. What I will need is another plate for that soft taco. Yeah, let's see. Let's beef. 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 Beef.